I'm Donna Lampkin Stevens and we're back on Spotlight where we feature the University of Central Arkansas's College of Fine Arts and Communication. Thanks for joining us. My guests today are my colleague Joe Dull, Associate Professor of Digital Filmmaking, as well as Jared Beck, First Assistant Director of our second feature-length narrative film, Sympathy Pains, which will premiere Monday, September 23rd in Reynolds Performance Hall. So join us when we return for a very special Spotlight. Here at News 6, we're dedicated to keeping you informed on all things happening around the state and locally. We are News 6. Joe Dahl, Associate Professor of Digital Filmmaking, and Jared Beck, who is a, uh, an MFA student who is working on his thesis film this That's year. It. Join us now on Spotlight, and welcome back to Spotlight, Joe. Thank you. And welcome to Spotlight, Jared. You've uh, been on the crew, but not <laughs> as a guest before, so That's right. welcome. Okay, so why, here's a, here's a biggie to start off with. Why make feature films here? Um, well, I kind of look at it as uh, um, the sprint versus the marathon, you know, that uh, our students make um, short films and, and they learn a ton doing that, but really they can go out on a weekend, you know, kind of screw things up and, uh, and stumble their way through and come out with, you know, the better part of their short. And, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, and again, they learn a ton doing that, but much of what we teach is about doing this for a career. And in a career, you can't keep people out until four o'clock in the morning for a shoot. You can't do the things you know that, that our students have a tendency to do. Um, and and the same in, in making a feature, you know, because you have to get up the next morning and you know and do the thing again. And the morning after that, and the morning after that. For we did what thirty one days of shooting, I think it was. And so uh, I say it's just the difference between you learn how to sprint. Well, now you know how to run. That doesn't mean you can actually do this you know, for a living yet. And that's uh, that's that's what I think the the feature brings. So, so Jared, you've made multiple short no. films. Tell me what it was like working on this feature length film. Um, well, it's, it's just like Joe says. I mean, it's, it's you, you have to think about what you're going to do for weeks in advance. And I mean, you can on a short film, you know, a five to ten minute film, you can just power through it for two days. Anybody can Fake go it. without sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, a, a, a lot of it, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can just not Not sleep. that our students would do oh, that. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> You know, and that, that's probably one of the worst things about it is shooting like 18 hours, you know, in like two days in a row. You can't, you can't do that for, um, you know, three, four weeks in a row. You would kill your crew. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I mean, in, in, a, in a short student film, yeah, you, you can do that. Is this your first feature length to work on? It is. On? Okay. It is. All right. Okay, so Joe, give us a summary of our first one. And it was Table at Luigi's, and yeah. you sort of brought that with you, the idea with you to UCA when you came here. Yeah, I had actually written it as a play uh, when I was out in California. I had a, I ran a theater company out there for a while, and uh, um, and so uh, so we'd done it as a reading, and we'd done it as a fully staged play. Um, and then actually it was uh, Bruce Hutchinson, another uh, digital film professor who, was, who mentioned, uh, you know, we should try doing a feature here. And they're like, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and so I kind of took the idea and ran with it. And uh, um, very, very fortunately, my wife is an amazing producer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so much of what I am able to do is because she sets up my ability to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so she also took the ball and ran with it. But it was really a little easier than this project, probably because you already had the story. It was uh, in that area, and it, it was a simpler. Uh, just the film itself was simpler. Okay. It uh, it had maybe ten locations, if that. Uh, in every single way, uh, Sympathy Pains is a bigger film than okay. Luigi's was. Okay. We did uh, probably an extra 10 shooting days. We had, I think Luigi's, we had like 40 extras and we were amazed at that. This one had a hundred and, I think it was 157 um, extras uh, over the course of the time. Um, I still, that number still <laughs> blows my mind. It sounds like a lot. It, it, it was a lot. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, we had, I think, 31 locations, uh, 36 actors with speaking roles. Again, Luigi's had, I think, eight. <laughs> okay. um, so it was just bigger in every way. Um, so it was difficult because it was our first time. Sure. sure. And, uh, and so we were learning a lot that we brought into this film, hopefully. Um, and, uh, but, uh, so, so it was difficult in that it was the first time we were doing it. It was simpler in that it, is a, it was a much smaller scale film. So what sorts of things did you learn? That, that you that you carried over into this process. Mm. Um, some of it was just 
how to uh, um, how to work with people. We now know who to call in the city. We now know a lot of uh, um, you know the right people to get in touch with that kind of thing. We now have a better idea of you know how you go about doing casting. How just you know all the the little elements, everything. There's a shorthand that we have now mm -hmm. that you know we were kind of inventing the wheel for us right, uh, um, a lot right. with the first one. And uh, um, the other thing that we did uh, is we shot for the most part five days a week. With Luigi's, we did six days, okay. and that just you never felt rested <laughs> um, oh, on I Luigi's. It's because you know that that one day off that we had was always production meetings and getting prepped for the week, and so now. You know, having two days to make that happen, you could actually get a little sleep in there. Um, also, the other thing, uh, honestly, is uh, 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 it is purely coincidental, but uh, uh, having a great first AD <laughs> running our set um, was just a huge. Did you have a first AD before? We did, okay. yeah. Um, but uh, uh, and 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 nothing against him. Just uh, um, Jared was so well prepared and so well trained. Um, and so things ran so so. It's the education I get here, though. That's right. Sure. So <laughs> it's, it's cyclical. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. No, no, no. That uh, um, really just just made so many took so many things off my shoulders. Right. right. That then it made. You know, I, I can't speak for anyone else. My life was easier. <laughs> good, good, good. So, what do you think that UCA, as well as our digital filmmaking program, got from the whole Luigi's experience? I mean. Did you, had you heard of Luigi's before you did, is that part of what brought you here as uh, a it, graduate student? It, it was, it did, it did interest me that they were doing feature films okay. here. So I, I don't know if you had finished it quite yet before or y'all were about to or y'all, the premiere was not it far was away. It was 2010. Yeah. yeah. The premiere. So yeah, I wasn't far behind. Y'all may have premiered it by then. I think so. Um, but yeah, that was that was something that drew me here, the, the, the opportunity to be able to do that. Um, I mean, short films are a great way to hone your skills. I mean, matter of fact, it's probably the best way to hone mm. your skills because, like you say, oh, it's yeah. just one weekend. It, it's <laughs> not that bad. But um, you, you have to do a feature film at some point. I mean, that's just, you have to have that on your resume. You have to have that experience to take that next step to that next level and become a professional after that. So, so, so what would you say about, did it really sort of put our, our program on the map? Um, More in, than in it already ways. was. I, I mean, honestly, the, the biggest thing to me was was what it did to our students. I saw a very marked difference before Luigi's and after Luigi's of uh, of just the professionalism of the crew. Mm -hmm. Of you know, just uh, again, you go in, you do your stuff for two days, you kind of figure out, oh, this is what the position is. You go and you do it for four weeks. You go, I know this position in and out. Mm -hmm. I understand everything mm -hmm. about it. And and you can bring that to your own set and to your own crew. And so I just like I say, I, uh, some of that was the natural expansion of our program, just as it's gotten sure. better. But I, I I see Luigi's as kind of a a, a a turning point where there were the films before that, and then there was mm -hmm. there was a, a dedication that that came after. And you know you. You make the film, you have the premiere, which is fun here, and then you put put it out on the festival circuit. Mm -hmm. Tell us about tell us about that with Luigi's. Yeah, um, the uh, well, first of all, we were very fortunate. We uh, we had quite a few screens. We we um, we estimated it was probably seen by about ten thousand people. Great. Um, yeah, which is insane. <laughs> um, in yeah. festivals uh, or festivals altogether? Okay. Uh, festivals altogether. Festivals. We did a number of screenings just in in theaters uh -huh. um, and. Uh, um, and then uh, we also screened on AETN, mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. so that, that's where a good chunk of that no, those numbers came from. Uh, about half of that came from there. But uh, um, we uh, uh, so yeah, and we ended up winning uh, four awards, uh, a best in show, and then uh, a couple others that were more specific to the genre of the film. So we are an award winning, in fact, yes. Yes. UCA digital <laughs> filmmaker. Program. Okay, so at what point did Sympathy Pains come on the radar? Um, well, the uh, I'd originally planned it to be a short, actually, because what um, we were just finishing up. Uh, um, Did you shooting. plan to do another one? Um, Immediately yes. on the heels. The, of it. the okay. thought, the thought was every three years. Having okay. done Sympathy Pains, I'm looking maybe every four now. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> having uh, having two kids now, which uh -huh. I had none when we made Luigi's, <laughs> and uh, um, and just other things in sure. life, uh, sure. uh, it feels a little more comfortable to do one every four. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we uh, we finished up Luigi's and and very quickly uh, uh, my wife became pregnant, <laughs> and uh, um, the morning that she I realized think she was pregnant during the uh, yes during the premiere during the of premiere Luigi's of yeah Luigi's. she okay. was very 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 yes. pregnant she <laughs> yes. does not like those yes. pictures actually <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah the so the morning she realized she was pregnant she was you know, uh, um, at the toilet not not having a good time <laughs> and. Uh, and and I also realizing what was going on with her, and I I wasn't putting it together, but 
I also started throwing up that morning. <laughs> I was like, maybe it's just something we ate, honey, because <laughs> um, I don't feel good either. And yeah, it turns out that might have been my own set of sympathy pains there. That uh, um, so so I, I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, ah, oh, there's probably a short in this or something that uh, um, I was going to make a little film. And then uh, and then I kind of find the found the character of of Danny, the the lead in Sympathy Pains, who's a, a comedian who just n loves comedy, no good at it. And uh, I was like, that that's a fun <laughs> idea. I like that. I like that concept. And uh, and then I started thinking of those two things together, and all of a sudden a feature started started coming out. So at what so at what point did we, did you think okay I mean you, we premiered in April of 2010. Yeah. So at what point are you beginning to are you starting to work on the um, next one? The script actually I think I had the outline by the end of that summer. Okay. Um, so, so pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and then uh, and then I think I worked on the script until I want to say December, and then revised, revised, revised until the next summer, um, and then which would have been the summer of. 11. Eleven, yeah. Okay. So that we would have a year then of uh, of, of uh, pre-production to get ready to film in the summer. So what goes on in pre-production? Um, locations and casting are the two big ones, and okay. of course finding the crew. So um, you did all. So you've been working on this for a couple of years. No, no, I, I came. Well, I, I came on several months before. Probably around January, February. That sounds about right. Of twelve. Yeah. Of twelve. Yeah, uh, correct. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, largely the job. Well. The first AD part of the job ended in uh, um, when the film wrapped uh, August twelfth, right. right. um, and then you were in our graduate audio class, which also <laughs> did all of the um, all the prep work for the audio um, that okay. then got handed off to our audio designer. So, so you do the the um, the casting. How difficult was that? It um, it was because uh, did you have and did you have more people interested this time than last we, we time? We did definitely, okay. yeah. And we also uh, um, spread the net a little wider. We right. uh, um, last time we cast here in Conway and in Little Rock. This time we went out to Memphis. We went up to uh, Fayetteville. Went out to Hot Springs. Kind of. Uh, um, and did you find somebody from each place? Uh, yes, yeah. That uh, okay. um, um, especially our biggest find, our, our second uh, male lead, uh, Ken Woodard, was from up in Fayetteville, and he was. He was amazing. He's actually been in so many other people's work since then. We've used him a bunch. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Love Ken. But, uh, um, but yeah, we. Uh, um, I had written the thing with Chris Fritzkes in mind. Um, our, our colleague in theater. Yes. Okay. And uh, um, the hardest part, actually. And how did you sell him on it? Oh, I told him I wrote him a part. <laughs> oh, and he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's the hardest he part? He comes cheap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kidding, Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part, actually, uh, um, the female lead was uh, was a role that uh, um, it's funny. When I was in California, I, I knew a lot of people like this. I I, I could have thrown a rock and hit somebody mm -hmm. who could have played the part, but uh, we didn't find anybody who was just right. Um, and what were you for looking for? Time. Uh, just brassy. That was the main okay. thing. Is, is okay. you know somebody with uh, um, um, who can kind of hit hard. And uh, uh, we just weren't finding that. We're finding some fine, fine people, sure. but nobody with who, who could really hit that aspect of it. And then. Uh, um, um, who uh, someone had recommended Courtney Bennett uh, to us, and Chris knew her. So um, she did not come to a casting call. No, she didn't. Okay. Um, but uh, so we brought the call kind of through Chris, uh, um, and then we brought her in. I had a couple of scenes ready for her to to, to go through. Um, halfway through the uh, four lines into the first scene, I turned to Cat and I go, and uh, um, yeah. And by the end of the scene, I was like, okay, let's. The, I had other stuff. I I just wanted. Can you please be in my movie? <laughs> so tell us about her. Where she's where she's from? Uh, she actually is an alumni of uh, um, alumna, excuse me, of uh, of UCA. Um, she Theater. Been, yes. Okay. And then moved up to Chicago. Had been doing some work up there. Went to I'm going to get it wrong. I think Greece. Um, okay. uh, maybe Italy. Uh, and had, had done some work there. And then was back in Little Rock. Uh, uh, like, right in our yeah, backyard. Yeah. And okay. and had only been back in town for a few months. Wow. When uh, okay. when yeah, she came out for us. Okay. Okay. So um, so you and then you shot. Summer of twelve. Yes. Okay. And uh, where were all these locations? All over. Um, <laughs> we, uh, all in Conway or uh, outside? No, we actually uh, we went. Uh, we did a church up in Russellville. Um, we did a party scene up there. We did a few things in Little Rock. Mm -hmm. We were at the the Looney Bin Comedy Club mm -hmm. was a, was a major location. The bridge. Um, the bridge, uh, whatever the name of that bridge is, off the four thirty. Uh, no one can ever remember the name of it. But uh, Big Dam Bridge. That might be it. It's the one that goes out to the island. No, that's um, the other one. <laughs> that other one. <laughs> yeah, no, no one can ever remember the name of it. But uh, we were there. I'll think of it in a minute. We Watch the movie; okay. you'll see. It. <laughs> we were at the uh, Little Rock Airport, actually, uh, um, and then uh, um, yeah, all over Conway, you, you'll see many, many, okay. many places. And that's that's part of the fun too of coming yeah. of watching the films, seeing people and places that, yeah, you, yeah, that yeah. you know. So okay, and so then you shot and. 
finished last summer. Uh, yes. You did all August the wrap 12th. up August 12th. Yep. So then what have you been doing the last um, Well, our editor year? was actually working on this stuff while Who, we were shooting. Who's the editor? Uh, Brandon Bogard um, okay. and his assistant. And they, uh, um, so they got everything together. Um, so we had a cut by um, beginning of September okay. um, that we could actually look at and go, yeah, okay. and kind of see, you know, what's going on here. By uh, by November, we were showing it to, to crowds. We were bringing people in to kind of test it and just see how Bringing them work. here. Exactly, okay. yeah. Um, and just kind of see how Who were these crowds? Um, well, who we did, did the first one, we just did cast and crew. Um, okay. We called them okay. in because just knowing they'd want to see the film and because they're going to have a very different reaction to it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want the cast and crew to kind of the word I use is infect uh, sure, a, a, sure. a more traditional sure, sure. movie-going crowd. So, uh, so then we did a, a, another one a week later, and then a few weeks after that, we did uh, one up in Fayetteville. Um, and so, like I said, just uh, polling the crowd, kind of, and a lot of it is just seeing where are people laughing, seeing right, where right, are people right. paying attention. Right. When you hear people starting to shift in their seats and things, you know, a lot of that just tells you so much about what's happening in the film that uh, you know we also have people fill out questionnaires. Which gives us good information, but really most of it is just watching that crowd, seeing are they into this, mm -hmm. and where are they, where aren't they, and and that again just tells you so much. So was there major do. tweaking to do? Um, or? We, yeah, we uh, um, a lot of uh, a lot of you know just tightening things. You're always tightening the film. Um, we ended up uh, um, as a result of uh, of a lot of reactions. We ended up actually adding a scene that we shot in December. We probably shot it two weeks before picture lock, before we oh. we ended the uh, um, editing, um, and uh, and we added a few shots here and there just to help clarify things, to make things a little uh, um, um, a little clearer. Uh, we actually shot a few shots were in uh, 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 at the UCA Film Festival, uh, mm -hmm. which was back in April. Last yeah. spring, <laughs> okay. Um, and then we ended up uh, um, shooting one more shot. I had a screening of it. Uh, um, early August and got a couple of really this interesting year. Uh, this year yes <laughs> and got a couple of really interesting reactions uh, um, that I was able to um, add one shot to something okay. just to help again clarify something that uh, that people weren't quite getting and uh, we ended up actually cutting about 40 seconds uh, near the end of the film of uh, of some stuff that uh, someone mentioned was a little redundant and they were absolutely right and so, so really mm -hmm. that's one difference with Luigi t Luigi's too you didn't have the luxury of doing all this we didn't have the time yeah right yeah. because you you, you I, I you rushed it too much. I didn't sleep from <laughs> January of 2010 to uh, to April of 2010. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I, I can see. I, once once I had a baby, I was able to sleep finally, which oh is my. not the normal oh <laughs> circumstance. But now you're the writer and director, and we've had lots of uh, UCA uh, filmmaking faculty and students involved. Yes, but there are also many other people involved across campus. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about the uh, non UCA. Filmmaking. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, obviously, Chris is our lead from theater, and uh, um, Shauna Metter also. Now, uh, Chris, um, back up, was also in Luigi's. Yes, yeah, okay. he was the second male lead in Luigi's, okay. and that's, that's kind of where he and I really got to know mm -hmm. each other and mm -hmm. uh, and just enjoyed working together. We did another uh, short um, a, 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 a little while before Sympathy Pains, and then, uh, um, but yeah, I wrote this completely okay. thinking of him. Okay. Um, uh, Shauna Metter actually is uh, the costumer over in theater, and she did mm -hmm. all our costumes, which were awesome. Um, and uh, and uh, music is the other big place. Um, we uh, uh, Paul Dickinson wrote uh, the entire orchestral score again. Um, again, he, yeah, yeah, he did, he Luigi's, did Luigi's as well. well. Yeah, okay. and there's some just awesome work in there. And uh, and then the UCA Symphony Orchestra um, um, played all the music, um, which uh, is the Conway uh, Symphony Orchestra. Conway, Emphasis which includes yes. many UCA students. Yes, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, thank okay. you. Sorry. Okay. Um, and uh, Izzy gets off. Uh, okay. It was the was the conductor okay. um, and, and led all of that. So. What what can you say about the collaborative? Process. That's what we. That's what we're about, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 awesome. I, uh, um, I you don't see this at other schools, honestly. I uh, I, I remember uh, I was at a meeting one time at a school that I was at um, teaching at in California, and they were talking about you know, we were all supposed to get together and talk about well, how can we collaborate more between our departments? And you know, the whole point of the meeting was all of us to sit up, sit down, and come up with ideas, and uh, and everyone's coming up with wonderful ideas, and and I finally went. There's no financial incentive, <laughs> so no one's going to do it. Every, you know, my dean has told me repeatedly, don't talk to anyone in theater because if you bring them in, we have to pay them, and that's not and that's not good for us. And so you know, until that happens, that's that that's you know, and, and I was like, all right, that's that's how things are at this school. At here, I have never seen 
so many departments collaborate the way the way that we do it. Uh, we actually had Art uh, um, working on the film for a while with uh, um, the Department of Art. Uh, yeah, okay. um, they were going to create some puppets for us. Oh, uh, Holly yeah. Laws was mm -hmm. going to uh, do some stuff. Uh, that was an original early uh, um, part of the film, and it, it ended up getting cut. But uh, um, yeah, just you know, whenever I talk to anyone in another department, they go, "Oh yeah, that, that, how do we do that? Okay, cool." Like just everyone is so happy and incentivized to work together. It's uh, it's awesome. <laughs> I, I love that. Now, did we have students uh, besides digital filmmaking students involved? Did you have some theater students or um, the uh, well uh, um, or sets for or costuming? Costuming. Um, um, Sean and definitely had some people. Obviously, the the symphony orchestra has a lot of yeah. students right, as a part. Right. Um, and uh, trying to think what else. Um, that might be about it. I'm sure if you show up as extras, um, and oh, sure. several sure. film and theater minors. You know, I mean, they're, they're yeah. still film mm -hmm. students, but there were several students that you know had theater backgrounds as well. I too. think some of the journalism students are going to be involved in the premiere because they're going to be paparazzi. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I am so in love with that idea. I can't tell you. So, so how did how did this whole project fit into your curriculum, the digital filmmaking curriculum? Um, is uh, that we do it during the summer. That's the biggest thing. Is, mm -hmm. is there's no way that this can happen yeah. during the year. It's such a you live and breathe this thing yeah. while it's happening. There's uh, um, so it, so it's a summer class uh, um, over ten. But weeks. it is a class. I yes. mean, you, they got a three hour credit for it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that uh, um, full time job. Yeah, it, it really is. Is, is, is it a full -time is job. it a graduate level course? Graduate or and or undergraduate. You can do so. either one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and that's uh, um, and then uh, like I say other parts of it. End up kind of permeating the the curriculum. So uh, a lot of Scott's uh, uh, Scott Metter, who is our visual effects supervisor, a lot of his students ended up working on effects on the film as a part of class. Mm -hmm. So he's mm -hmm. teaching them his concept. So he uses that footage, and then uh, and then and then it ends up in the film. Um, and the same thing, my my audio class, like say, uh, um, put together all the. Uh, um, all the audio elements um, that so then my sound designer could come in, take their work and uh, um, and, and refine it, um, and so it ends up being a part of everything. There, there's hardly there isn't a week that goes by that at least in three classes I don't mention. Well, this from Sympathy Pains is mm -hmm. da -da -da, or this mm -hmm. from Luigi's. Um, my uh, my audio class, my undergraduate audio class right now is working on footage from Sympathy Pains that. Had specific problems that that I want them to address. So it's mm -hmm. a, and so it's not even going into the film. It's just being used as footage for them and, to practice. And on. like you said, you're still using Luigi's yeah, in, yeah, in your classes. Mm -hmm. so, so that's so that's good too. Jared, from the student, I mean, you, you sort of walk both uh, both uh, areas. You're <laughs> you're a you're a graduate assistant, so you teach, but you also uh, have been a student working on this. Right. What did, what did the students get out of this this whole uh, experience? The, the, yeah, just the. It is. It is a marathon. It is. It, you do understand what you're really going to do as a professional, and uh, and like Joe said, just going and doing it for a month, you really learn your jobs, and it, and it spreads out throughout the department too because there's that many students. Everybody that worked on Sympathy Pains, they're that much better of a filmmaker, mm -hmm. and they're all working on everybody else's films, and people are learning from them. They're learning the way, the protocol, and and just being a professional on set. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's. It really just kind of spreads out. That's it's exponential growth. So how many students can we say? How many film students are have been involved? Um, directly on set, there's probably over, over the course of the film, it was, it was about twenty, not a huge I'd number, say but that. The, and and but then you have the audios, and then yeah, yeah the audio students. The uh, so by the time the whole thing's done, it's had bare minimum seventy five students hands on. So it. a big chunk. Yeah. A, a lot of them play key roles too, yeah. which is really what's important. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. they're not they're not just getting me and Joe coffee. You <laughs> yeah. Know? I mean, they're, no, they're that's important too. Yeah, uh, it, it is. Yeah, <laughs> we do need. We drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> so that, that was my wife's job. Actually, was a, she was the coffee person. But uh, it's. I mean, and they were our arms and legs. You know, I was his arms and legs, and mm -hmm. then I needed arms and legs. Mm -hmm. And every. I mean, it's. Everybody play key roles. I mean, um, I had some really funny images in my head from that. Time. Arms and legs, <laughs> yeah. just like Mr. Potato Heads and stuff <laughs> running around. Uh, and and that to me is what really was the most important. Yeah. Is, is people yeah. got to play an important part and be a part of it, and that helps them do a better job yeah. too. And took know? it seriously. I yeah, mean, this is, yeah, absolutely. That, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that, uh, um, for instance, towards the end of the shoot, uh, um, Mike, our uh, our director of photography, Mike Gunner, uh, Mike Gunner mm -hmm. had to. Uh, um, he was out of town for a few days. And so the gaffer stepped in for him, we, right. um, and so you know, everyone just kind of walked mm -hmm. up the line, and uh, um, and you know was now doing this extra role. That uh, um, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who was a student, by the way? Mm, yes, that's great. That's yes. great. Now, Joe, I know that you didn't sleep from January to April of 2010, <laughs> and I know you 
specifically planned this so that you would have plenty of time <laughs> to get it finished here. So uh, we're, we, as we tape this, we're mm. premiering in about 10 days. Yeah. Is it finished? I so wish it were. <laughs> we're, we're, we're. We're a few days away. There's just, you know, all those little tidbits of uh, um, ev everything that needs to be done can fit on a page this long. Okay. So, so, so we're, it's so not, we're, yeah, it's not. So you it, didn't quite make your goal. No. But um, your, but July your, was the goal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just you know. But, it, but you're sleeping too. I am sleeping okay, for the most so, part. Okay. Um, yeah, things things just have a tendency to you know. Sure. They, it oh, will yeah. always fill yeah. up if you yes. have this much time. Yes. It will take this much time. Yes. If you have yeah. this much time, it will take this much time. Yes. And a little yes. more. And a little, and more. A little more. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, still, actually, you're not going to be sweating it getting it finished by no, September. 23rd. No. No. We'll, okay. We will be done by Monday, which will be a week uh, a okay. week in advance. Okay. And all I had to do is make DVDs between uh, between okay. Monday and we Monday. We can do so, that. Yeah. Okay. So why have a red carpet premiere? Because <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> because yeah, it's I, was, fun. I was about to answer that. It's fun. <laughs> what are you talking about? The, uh, it was a lot of fun the last yeah, time. Yeah, and so, yeah. Okay. So tell us about this one. It's going to. The activities are going to start at seven o'clock yes. on Monday, September twenty third. Yeah, yeah, and uh, um, so uh, hopefully we will have some paparazzi uh, um, getting <laughs> some pictures. But everyone is welcome to walk the red carpet. Uh, um, we'll have uh, uh, David Keith is going to be there to do interviews. We'll have uh, a camera that'll then be feeding into the uh, um, into the theater. So if you're just in the theater, you can actually be watching what's happening out in the in the lobby. It uh, it should be really fun. We'll also have uh, just props and things about the film that uh, um, um, kind of scattered around so people can see. And for people who were in the film or, or, or a part of it, uh, they'll be able to pick up their DVD copy. That, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. That, that's great. So um, I remember you raved about the support that you got from the community for Luigi's. Oh, yeah. How, what was it like this time? Same and more. It was awesome. People were uh, um, just, uh, you know, just closing down streets for us, opening up uh, um, stores. Uh, we filmed in so many places that that uh, um, again. I, I come from Southern California, where you know the standard answer is I'm with a film and no, <laughs> um, yeah. you know, or yeah. I'm with a film and how much money do you have? And yeah. uh, um, so you know, you're just in this place where everyone makes films. You can't make films. Right. <laughs> um, you come here and yeah, people just open their doors. That's it's, great. it's it's That's amazing. Great. And fed us. And yeah. fed us. I bet. <laughs> yeah. That's important. I bet. <laughs> yeah, no, they it took wonderful care. So are you already planning another one? Um, yeah, I got to... Uh, so probably um, four years from now. Yeah, yeah okay. well, three years um, um, because of... Uh, um, we would be filming three years from now, so yeah, okay. premiering four. Premiering um, in four years, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, I kind of have an idea that I'm fleshing out little by little that... Uh, not ready to talk about it yet. Uh, yeah, not too much. Okay. It's, uh, um, uh, but uh, uh, I, I was hoping to, by the end of the summer, have an outline, um, and uh, um, that's a big chunk of why it's on the four-year plan. Is okay. that didn't okay. happen with okay. the, with everything else? With I had a second uh, little girl, uh, May thirteenth, and then finishing up the film and other things. So just uh, life okay. kind of got in the way. Okay. So I believe we have a trailer. So why don't you yeah. set up the trailer for yeah, us? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, there's not much to set up. It's pretty. Uh, uh, it's pretty stupid, is what it is. <laughs> uh, that's that's that was the goal okay. of it, and I, I believe we've achieved that goal. So <laughs> so here's sympathy pains. I just, I love every time she says the words. Those three words. Honey, we're pregnant. Those weren't them. Congratulations, honey. You're telling your dad. Okay, Joe, now give us the details one more time of the premiere, when and where, and it's free and open to the public, right? Absolutely, yes. Please, everyone is invited. We'd love to have everyone around. Um, it's uh, September 23rd, uh, which is Monday night. Uh, 7.30 p.m. is the screening. 7 o'clock is when all the red carpet stuff's happening uh, on UCA campus at uh, Reynolds Performance Hall. And uh, again, yeah, please, anyone is, uh, anyone is invited. It's uh, um, free and open. Big night in Conway. Yeah. Thanks for joining us of on course. Spotlight. Thank Can't you wait for to see us. the Thanks, film. John. We'll be back in a moment.
For more information about the programs and people featured on the show, call the College of Fine Arts and Communication at 501-450-3293 or check us out on the web at www.uca.edu slash CFAC. And be sure to like us on Facebook. We'll be back again next week, so join us then for another Spotlight.